You may have noticed that I have somewhat of a natural vibrato in my voice. <laughs> I'm Buffy St. Marie, and these are the five songs that changed my life. You know the way she touches your cheek. I want to tell you about a song called I Was the One. I Was the One was not the song that was being pushed on the radio. It wasn't a real rocker. It was a love song. There's a part in the song almost at the end where he says, um, and it was all for me. Yeah. Never know. Oh, I can still listen to it and it just kills me. I'm really, really glad to share with people a rather unknown song by Elvis Presley. I was the one. No. When I was just coming up as a singer, one of the most beautiful things I could ever hear was the voice of Edith Piaf. She had a tragic life, but when she sang, I think they described it as she sings from the soles of her feet. There was a natural vibrato that, she, that, that came with her, as it comes with me, with emotion. And when I was starting to sing professionally, people would comment on my vibrato and they thought that I was putting it on, but it was something that I wasn't even really aware of. And what happens to me is when I'm singing an emotional song, even something like Up Where We Belong, you know, or um, Until It's Time For You To Go, when it gets emotional, my voice changes and, I, and that vibrato comes on even stronger. I could pick just about any song she ever recorded and fall in love again, uh, but the one that I choose is one of the ones that's better known to a wider audience, Je ne regrette rien. And I wish I could say it like she did. <laughs> Je ne regrette rien by Edith Piaf. Oh. You know, I'm on the road a lot, sometimes in a big van with a bunch of boys, you know, <laughs> and we share our songs. And I think probably the biggest crowd pleaser um, for, for my band and me, it's a, a record by Charles and Eddie, and it's called Would I Lie to You, Baby? Would I Lie, Would I lie to You, Baby? Would I Lie to You? Oh, it's a gorgeous song. And I remember when my son was about 15 or 16, I bought him his first car when he got his license. And I bought it from my real good friend, Taj Mahal. And when we pulled in, in Taj's car to go and visit Taj, he was there and he came out and on the radio I had, would I lie to you, baby? And Taj said, oh my gosh, that's the greatest song. Nobody knows that song. So now you're gonna hear it. Now you're gonna know, would I lie to you by Charles and Eddie. I wish I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly. Another of my very favorite songs in the whole wide world is River by Joni Mitchell. Joni has a huge collection of songs. She writes, she's like me, she writes about everything. There's something about River as a song and in the way that she sings it. To me, it's, um, I think she was in a very humble mood at the time. Uh, there's something about the poignancy of not just her poetry, but the way she presents it. And I understand that as an artist, especially if you're writing your own songs and it's coming from your heart. If you happen to sing it in that mood, it, it just does something. It becomes a cohesive work of art that's bigger than singers and songs. It just becomes a thing of itself, that kind of recording. So with that, I just want to share with you guys one of her most beautiful songs that I just love because when I was a little girl, I was a skater too. I was a skater. This is called River. <laughs> One of the things that I like about Bob Seger's um, song, Making Thunderbirds, it's the words. It says uh, something about um, the big line moves so slow it really hurts. And you know, you just have a picture of how loud it is, clank, 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 and um, how beautiful it is. You know, 
They were long and low and sleek and fast, classic in a word. I just love the words. I love the descriptions. So that's making Thunderbirds. Mm -hmm.